H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. So in a simple thing called right, okay, I'll be talking something about what is data science means. Okay. okay. So um, whenever we say something called as a data science, so um, what is a very basic thing that we need? Data. Simple. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this yeah. is what we need. So let us talk more about this thing. So whenever we are dealing this thing we need obviously we need data so the so what exactly this data science consists of is nothing but a creation of data okay now now let's say you have created a data now now the second thing is nothing but obviously we need to store it somewhere right yeah, yeah in a good environment yeah. so that we can use it later okay now mm -hmm. we have created the data now we want to storing the data mm -hmm. okay now you have uh, you have stored the data right mm -hmm. now the thing is that you need to fine tune the data mm -hmm. fine tune the data or transform the data for for our necessary requirements right that yeah. means so whenever you get the data from the source obviously it might not be very helpful to do analysis at the right moment mm -hmm. so we just need this uh, transforming the data so now once we have this data we have something called as an analysis or predicting are you getting my point yeah okay once you have this analysis something or not we also something called as a visualization okay mm -hmm. and the last thing is nothing but the communication Okay, so uh, basically what we are trying to deal with here is nothing but uh, we just want to see the journey of a particular data that we have created and then how we exactly we are using it to the point. Okay, mm -hmm. now the first thing is nothing but the creation of data. So mm -hmm. let's see an example of Facebook. Okay, mm -hmm. now whenever you go to a Facebook, Okay, it will ask to open an account with your mm -hmm. personal credentials. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so then it would be actually knowing about who are you and mm -hmm. uh, so what is your age, from which place are you doing, and what are all the educational qualifications that do you have. Okay, mm -hmm. and apart from that, it also collects the data. So where where you are moving and how many photos you have updated and how, who are all your friends. Okay, mm -hmm. so it collects this enormous amount of data right mm -hmm. so this is the data creation part yeah right now the mm -hmm. second thing is nothing but the storage of the data mm -hmm. ever heard of a topic or something called as a big data yeah yeah i heard yeah yeah right so now let's say uh, if you see how many active accounts in uh, facebook it is nearly nearly 1.5 to 2 billion accounts <clears throat> okay so so 2 billion is something that like 200 crore so 200 crore people of taking all this information and all we can't able to store in a regular hard disk or like a regular server right mm -hmm. so facebook usually has a huge and huge data centers for it so the way how we are storing the data okay is also a part of data science so this is where the big data comes into existence okay yeah 
so now the other thing is nothing but the fine tuning of your data or transformation of the data so that means whenever the data that you have collected it might not be in a very ready form to do some analysis right we need to we need to change something if at all we not, we need to do some analysis we just need to fine tune or transform our data to our perspective mm -hmm. and then we can able to do something on that right yeah so this is where the fine tuning or the transformation of the data comes into existence and then we say this something called as an etl technique edl technique or something like that mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now the next thing is nothing but the hello hello yeah so the next thing is nothing but the analysis or the predicting part okay now mm -hmm. here we have something called as um, um let's say let us say if at all we are taking the facebook account mm -hmm. if at all you want to do some analysis okay mm -hmm. so um that means once your data is there then you want to do some analysis saying that how many hours every day that you are watching facebook okay so how can we do we just need to make sure the data we need to transform in such a manner the, that your name each and every day how many hours okay okay, okay. so you'll be having this pattern you mm -hmm. extract this particular data from mm -hmm. that metadata and then you'll try to analyze how it is going mm -hmm. okay now the other thing is nothing but the predicting part what exactly we try to predict is nothing but so let's say i'm having your data for last three years okay mm -hmm. what so um for the next next week or next month mm -hmm. how much time you are going to spend time in facebook okay so this is where the predicting usually comes right mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's say, you know, uh, by, by 2020, if at all we see the population, okay, mm -hmm. so we can forecast that our population will increase by 10%, mm -hmm. right? This is mm -hmm. just like what we try to do in your, in our, uh, you know, real time scenarios. Yeah. So this predicting for the future is nothing but the, whatever all the data science that we usually think about machine learning artificial intelligence mm -hmm. okay all these things comes into here picture okay yeah. now the the other thing is nothing but the visualization mm -hmm. okay visualization is nothing but to come up with a very good diagrams or very good representation of mm -hmm. your data where mm -hmm. you can able to explain that data in a very simple manner mm -hmm. okay with very good charts pie charts all this mm -hmm. and the last thing is nothing but the communication mm -hmm. okay so that is that is nothing but whatever the data that you are having how are you coming up with a beautiful story so that you can able to explain all this data journey and uh, what are the insights that you have got to an end customer or to your mm -hmm. manager or to any of the guy okay mm -hmm. so this is nothing but uh, what we say as a responsibilities or whatever all the different aspects that we yeah. usually see in a data science perspective okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so whenever you call someone as a data scientist okay you should be aware of all these things but in a very most manner you need to highlight this prediction okay. part yeah okay so this is what a simple data science is about okay and um, i'll try to explain a very simple thing that what we try to do okay mm -hmm. and then what exactly are the predictions that we try to come up here so let's say you are a um, supermarket owner mm -hmm. if you are a supermarket owner and uh, you are having um, 20 I, stores I, I, hello okay. Yeah, uh, this is uh, Kosi. So I just uh, joined a few minutes back. Uh, okay. Um, I, I got a few questions uh, uh, since I joined late. Maybe you would have covered earlier, but uh, I missed more probably. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just trying to understand uh, what 
what's uh, i mean what's the benefit of taking this course and what is the difference between data analytics database testing and uh, data scientist okay got it so the very beginning the thing is that what is the benefit of knowing this thing is nothing but you would be thrown into an environment where the world is dependent on you. okay so you will also be an active member in which the current world is trying to investigate or work or come up with a very good um, you know research or the products at an enterprise level that we are doing it i don't know if at all you were talking about <clears throat> in 1990s the web revolution right so at that time the internet started and uh, each and every people they came up with their websites for their business perspective for each and everything in a service perspective the same thing so in 2007 when iphone introduced into the market so okay let, let me put the question right uh, abhi i understand about the data portion and uh, you know i i understand uh, uh, how a data can benefit a um, uh, you know a company and uh, a field of study right uh, my question is uh, how am i getting benefited on learning this data science course hello can you can you hear me yes yeah yeah sorry i don't know how why it is disconnecting yeah so um so uh, in 2007 right the app world so whenever yeah. iphone yeah. got introduced Abhi. right Abhi. Abhi, i think uh, uh, the statement again got miscommunicated uh so i, I understand the portion of data and uh, how the data come, uh, of, of the uh, growth of the company uh, mm -hmm. my question is on what's the benefit of me learning data science like how what are the fields i can enter and uh, how can i differ from the current uh, position i am right now in um, I, i'm right now an embedded tester so uh i i want to okay. first see what is the future of me on learning this course okay so you uh, you are an uh, embedding tester right that means you are working yeah. something on vlsi uh, electronics completely into that right yes super okay i think uh, if at all you are doing a tester i think you might be uh, exposed to some programming language for sure right I think yes probably might be c or something or you might also use python modules as well yes got it so see something at uh, uh, whenever you try to do this um, so what is the benefit or uh, whether you are uh, okay to go with it uh, see there are some uh, medical students who really like this subject a lot and then they shifted from their medical field into this still they haven't felt any difficulty in learning this or applying this but still that uh, you know the journey is very amazing so for you for this perspective um, the kind of job that you try to do what can i say i can say it would be helpful in two ways one thing um, i think whatever this embedding testing that you are trying to do you, you will definitely need to go to your workstation and then you need to perform the perform your work right yes okay so um, i don't see any technical challenge that means obviously you will be knowing but uh, but you already know what kind of test cases that you need to perform right this is not the most toughest job that might be there for you that means let's say if your talent is really much more or let's say you might be craving for a better opportunity but still uh, i just feel that testing okay if you feel that you have much more uh, you know really uh, you know 
uh, interest to uh, to really work on something testing might not be a very good opportunity for a future perspective and at the same time even this testing thing can be automated uh, in the future coming days so uh, whenever you are looking uh, into um, what to say working perspective or in a working career perspective shifting to data science is the best opportunity that you might be having right now okay okay so and, uh, yeah so will i uh, you know uh, grow in my career level uh, on learning this data science or uh, like i, I want to uh, see how i am going to use this right i so right uh, now right now you are in us right yes okay and you have a masters degree no okay got it uh, do you have an engineering degree yes okay so um so us usually works in two ways one thing is that uh, you need to have a, uh, a very proper masters or phd degrees to do some data science work other than that other than that you need to be very good hands on exposure so that you can uh, you can say that you have worked on certain uh, certain things in a very uh, elegant manner and then you can showcase your skills to them and then you can find a job here okay so will will this course help me in uh, uh, fetching a job a lot uh, basically this is going to be a shifting year for me right so i got in, it. I, I want to understand, like, uh, uh, by the end of this course, will I be able to get a career in data science? And uh, uh, the knowledge I gathered here, uh, is it uh, close enough that I can uh, get employed immediately? See, um, that will completely depend upon how interest you put on this and how many hours you are going to spend on this thing. OK? So um, I think, are you very good exposure to programming? No, not really. I have been not in real. Yes, yeah. right. So whenever you complete this course and then you expect to land a job, okay. So um, you need to put really some good work, or you need to spend uh, enormous amount of time, so that instead of completing this thing in a very large, you can able to complete very fast by, you know by allocating more time into this and yes definitely i can say that you can you will be in a position to crack an interview if you apply for a data science position that i can assure you okay okay so end of this course um will i be able uh, what's my uh, you know profile like is it i'll be able to do visualization or i will be able to be uh, something like uh, you know pie developer something like that see it would be you will be eligible for three things uh, um, big data it is a very big thing and obviously uh, you might not be aware of that and the, you need to learn even a tons of things other than that you will be in a ba developer uh, you would be a business analyst eligibility and then you will also be a machine learning engineer deep learning engineer and data scientist by the end of this course yes see i can i can also say that what topics are you actually choosing here okay so that is what i was trying to explain so whenever we say about this data usually this is like a very big ocean okay so and then i'm very particular that what exactly the us market is looking into you whenever whenever they are applying for a data science positions okay so you need to definitely know certain topics you you, you that means we need to know what kind of all the topics that we need to learn and how much time that you guys are open for it okay um so uh, another question too right uh, uh, since uh, uh, this is going to be a shifting year i want to understand if i'm writing uh, if i'm picking the right course right 
see definitely i can able to assure you because i think these are the worst time in us because uh, i don't know the jobs are not secure so people who are i know in us everyone has lost their job okay and everyone they want to improve their skills okay so if at all um, if at all we are going with a regular capabilities it would be a very tough job okay first for securing a new job within the next two months or something that is going to happen in us that's for sure okay now the one thing the other thing is nothing but what, what exactly you are asking question is that whether this particular course is suitable for you okay i just feel whenever the opportunities perspective the pay perspective and the work perspective okay it would be very much helpful to you if at all uh, you know you put a very good concentration on this and and if at all you go with a regular software engineering courses that means let's say if you learn java dot net or not there would be tons of people who are already working on it okay and then they might not prefer your background uh, uh, your background as well but in data science it will actually help you in whatever the domain that you have been working on so let's say you are saying that you are working on the embedding you can say that you have applied deep learning and machine learning techniques on your uh, what is it on your embeddings part it will work so the way you can able to transform your past career into this future one with the help of this machine learning it would be a very good advantage but he, what is the catch here is nothing but how many topics that you are going to discuss here okay so basically in data science we usually have numerical data as well okay mm -hmm. we have numerical data we have textual data and then we have deep neural network and then we have convolutional neural network these are nothing but the different kinds of frameworks algorithms that we talk about the okay so there uh, so there is a bunch of amount of the things that we need to learn so that we would be more capable of attending an interview and then getting to do it okay so so uh, so basically whenever people used to train it would be like a fast crash course that uh, they want this thing within a month and then they want to get everything but you people you need to have a very solid start from the programming itself from the programming you need to come up with a very good understanding from there you need to understand the statistics part and then you need to understand the visualization parts and then you need to understand the math behind each and everything okay once you do that and the next thing is nothing but we need to go with the deep neural network okay, okay. got it yeah yeah so what i say is that if we work hard this is the best gift that data science will offer you i can say that for sure but if you choose other than this then it's going to be a very tough decision because even at this worst case scenarios data scientist is the only thing that the companies are relying on if at all you want to take any decision if at all you want to uh, you know you want to know whatever to do this data science is the utmost necessary thing that is going to happen for sure so um, i will say that if at all you choose this okay i think that that is the first thing is nothing but um, you have really succeeded 50% of this worst timings okay you have chosen the very right part one thing is nothing but um, we need to be more concentrating and then we need to be uh, showing more interest and then we need to be working on we need to allocate more time in this that's for sure if you travel with me to the end of this course you will be definitely in a position to solve any kind of data science problem given at a point for you 
Okay, sounds good. So uh, what is covered through this course then? Hmm? Uh, I, I'd like to see what is covered through this course. Okay, got it. So um, so I'm just thinking, where am I actually able to share my screen? Hmm. I don't know why this is happening. Okay. I couldn't able to share my screen now. I, I see your screen, the data science, uh, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is just the thing that it is having. It is just like a screenshot that has been taken. I don't know. I think they need to give me the organizer for that. So who is the admin for this? Hello? Uh, is anyone from the XLR? Uh, I don't know those people are not responding, but um, so let me tell uh, what exactly are the things that we are going to cover in this. So we are going to cover Python from scratch. From scratch in the sense, uh, I'll treat you guys like a fifth class students or something. Okay. And then I'll try to explain each and everything. So what is going to happen with the Python? And what is uh, exactly that we need in Python to work on all these things? Okay, that means we are going to complete Python, and um, we are going to try to complete the visualization part in the data science. That means we usually have Matplot and Seaborn. We would be completing that, and then we also have something called as statistics. What is the basic statistics from the very basic? to the end point that what we are trying to achieve. OK, we would be learning that as well. Apart from that, we would be learning all the machine learning algorithms that we are having. So um, if, if you want me to be more pros, uh, you know, precise, I can say that linear regression, logistic regression, decision trees, random forest, XGBoost, boost, gradient boost, so support vector machines, and um, different kinds of ensembling methods so these are nothing but the machine learning algorithms that we are having here and then we also have something called as a deep neural network where it is having convolution neural network and recurrent neural network and lstms long short term memory and then we will also be dealing with the nlp natural language processing where we usually take the text data and then we can able to do some miracles with it so basically these are all the things that we are going to cover uh, okay so the machine learning the uh, convolutions uh, and the neural networks so are the main topics that you are uh, discussing right so uh, where programming static programming statistics machine learning deep learning nlp okay uh, so yeah uh, uh, just correct me if my understanding is wrong so um, my thought is you collect the data through sql and then you create a, a visualization you you know kind of a powerpoint uh, using some tools right uh, that is mm -hmm. one right and the rest is you make an analysis with the data that you have con uh, collected, right? So where is this portion of uh, machine learning linear, uh, uh, I mean, your uh, uh, the other portions that you uh, 
we're trying to say sit and see uh, at one point of time you are talking about a simple bi perspective okay so mm-hmm. you're saying that the data is collected only with sql that might not be the one point okay so the data might be done with different ways okay you might even connect to simply an s3 with amazon with um, uh, you know google or something that you would be having data in some format we will take that data the other thing is nothing but visualization is nothing but we don't re, uh, you know directly do some visualizations and then do it as a bi developer what you will be asked is nothing but just to do the visualizations in this data science perspective these visualizations will be taken for the analysis or to come up to a conclusion take a business decision on it once you have it data you will predict okay so the prediction part is where this machine learning and the deep learning comes into existence okay so we can uh, uh, can we categorize this into three portions then collecting the data then visualizing it uh, i mean with the past data and predicting uh, which is future hmm. analysis exactly exactly okay so collecting data would be a simpler version of it maybe a sql or uh, you already mm-hmm. have an sql document mm-hmm. the data uh, yeah yes and uh, uh, your uh, uh, visualization comes through some mm-hmm. form tool right ha huh? no so that's what so uh, we won't be depending on tool here we will be completely depending on the python because tools will change and it will restrict you to certain point but whenever you know the python it's way most important to be doing there okay so what are we using python for like i mean how is python used See, as an as an end to end yeah as an end to end i think whenever you say something like tool or something i think you might be aware about the tableau click you or something Mm-hmm. if you are looking that for an answer we won't be using tableau and this thing in the process of a data science journey okay so the visualizations can be handled within python itself okay okay so so we won't be using any tool to this part so once you know where your data is and then till your prediction part we will be relying on python itself okay so this course is more towards predictions yeah this course is completely towards a data scientist perspective data scientist duties everything okay got it so um so visualization is also handled through python so that's why we are learning yes. python yes yes and then prediction is where your major focus of the course would be like yes. major time uh, consumed in this course so yes. how long course it is not, see um i i that means we also need to talk some other things as well so how how much the usually these things work and how much you you need to know what kind of topics that you that you are you are interested to know about all these things Okay. So it completely depend upon um, uh, you know some people they don't want deep learning some people they don't want NLP okay so for them the usually the routine or the the curriculum will be different but for you whenever you you are completely transforming whenever you are looking for a new you know new job you should be in a position to have an hands on and then you need to know like uh, like you know. um you, you need to really know what are all the things that are associated with this so i recommend i strongly recommend that you need to go through all all these aspects deep learning nlp and advanced machine learning fine tuning of all these machine learning terms each and everything okay so let's uh, assume that uh, we go through the whole process that you had talked about so how how long do you okay. think this would be i think uh, it would go to 2 to 3 months 
and uh, the course timing? Is it, I mean, uh, what time frame that you mean? Is it five hours a week or something like that? Uh, yeah, so I think we can be flexible in that part. If at all, we might connect on weekends and then you want to, uh, it, it is completely flexible that how much we are going to do it. See, I can able to tell, but the thing is that how much you are going to grasp as well, right? Even that also depends on you. Let's say if you guys are really understanding things and then you are taking this fast, okay, then we can able to do it in a much more faster manner. But if you guys are taking time to understand, still it is okay. It completely depends on the way how you are responding. Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. So it is, see, uh, this course is for you. And I have also handled people like, you know, coming from a different background and learning these things. So this completely depends on you. This is nothing but how much amount that we are trying to spend. See, every time I say for everyone that uh, I do, I give regular work to them. And then I will say that you guys complete this within the next week. 99.99% .99 people, they don't do it. Okay. So uh, <laughs> that's, see, that's the same thing. Huh, that is expected. So, um, so I say that, so you people might be as usually, uh, you know, the perspective of learning people, they say that uh, huh, we need to complete this within a month or two or something, but it won't be happening because, uh, 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 uh what you say their part of doing because, or they, they have some other things to even work on. So we can't even, uh, you know, completely say that they are not doing, but they are not allowed to do because they, they might be doing some other things. So uh, how much you really want to do this and uh, how fast you want to learn. So that completely depends on you. But I would feel that, uh, yeah, so the exp see, uh, whenever you say this programming, I think both of you people uh, know uh, the basics of programming and all, right? Yes or no? No, no, I'll be sick. Like, and I didn't know the anything. Yeah, I know that means some at least basic. Yeah, I, yeah, I know some SQL. But not. It's a long time back, oh. so I don't have any experience. No issues. <laughs> no issues. Uh, but let's say whenever uh, someone is making you learn programming or SQL or anything, yeah, obviously they will be helping you to understand the topics and all. But yeah, yeah. eventually, if at all you are working, yeah. okay, so that is completely dependent on you how much you are going to practice, right? Yeah. Because no one can teach you programming in an extent that you can able to solve anything that someone is going to view. Programming should be learnt with practice, right? Yeah, Will you agree true. with me? Yeah. So, yeah, so that's what. Um, I'll try to teach each and everything, but the practice and that enormous amount, I will be giving all the assignments, all the material, all the doubts that you have, everything that can be clear. But the thing is that uh, you guys need to be much more, uh, uh, you know, interested and uh, uh, something. If I if I say that it could be done, then we can able to make it faster, have a better understanding stuff and all. Okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, you're coming with a consultancy perspective or how is it, this thing? You were asking me, Avi? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You know. No, that means how, how exactly you got to know about, uh, you know, this training and also how about you about, about it? About this program you are saying, it's to gain emphasis? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Actually, it's been a long time. I did the training through it's to gain emphasis, like QA testing, like all the training. So mm -hmm. it's been a long time. Then uh, suddenly one of my friend, he she posted in the Facebook. Then I say, oh, it's a mm -hmm. data science. Let's like, you know, um, I saw it's a lot of demand. And I know it's a challenge. Like, you know, it's a lot of programming. But I think, OK, I can try for this one. Mm. So how long you guys have been working? 
i don't have any work experience just uh, like you know uh, my husband he has he's he has one company so sometimes okay. i do the manual testing for his like things okay yeah like uh, for his company one is doing programming he is in the bangalore so okay. and after that i do like you know some review testing or something at home nothing like that just testing manual okay. testing that's all i don't have any okay okay yeah regarding me i um i'm employed for five years and um, uh, you know um, i have gone through various phases of, of from manual uh, some uh, sql some uh, uh, a great experience on uat um, and uh, some uh, some range of python so i i just thought like um, i should uh, you know, I'm looking for some other uh, uh, way, more, more than testing. I want to do something else. So I was exploring on um, the current things. Yeah, it will actually help you. It will actually help you. So uh, you, so yourself is Preeti, and the other one. I am Kausi. Kausi. So you are in Bangalore? No, I am in US. Achha, okay, both of you people are in US. Okay, got it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so this is what basically, um, you know, the whole and the whole part and parcel offer. But I say, so I say is something that, you know, you look for a career or something that perspective. So, uh, what he says is that um, believe in something, okay? Have a strong belief that you spend some quality time and then you do hard work on this particular technology framework or something, then it will definitely give a very successful returns, okay? Believe in something that you are doing. That is what I can say. If you believe in something, okay then things will obviously be positive be more optimistic bo be more interested to learn okay and these things comes to do it so um i say that you can very much rely on data science that it will help you tremendously um see i whenever i started my career uh, i'm a mechanical engineer okay so even I don't know anything about, uh, you know, uh, things in uh, software engineering stuff and all. So uh, trust me, um, the day I have chosen data science as my career point exactly seven years back, uh, I, I feel that um, this is the best decision that I have taken. And uh, people, I'm just 20, 20, uh, 28 and uh, so i think uh, your batch is like some 66th batch or something in training for me um i feel that i'm fortunate to be doing it has uh, transformed my career my personal perspective a lot just because believing something strong and uh, i never felt that i would be in this position if at all i haven't believed in this thing so uh, I I personally feel that whatever uh, you know the uh, your career aspects that you guys would be having, data science is the right companion, okay, for you. Yeah, obviously there are something, but this is not a rocket science. I can say that this is not a rocket science. Whenever you compare it with the regular stuff, this is much more quite interesting. You would be solving the real time example problems, which is very interesting to work on. And um, and the perspective itself, it will make you to to come up to a new phase, to to look out things in an you know uh, in a different perspective. Very good kind of interesting thing that you can able to get from it here. So Abhi, yeah, one more question here. So uh, if we split this course into analysis and uh, predicting, the analysis portion will uh, cover up, you know, uh, data manipulations and. Uh, see, I, uh, I see. Let me tell you into this. Um, uh, the complete data science journey, obviously, analysis is an enormous part. Eighty percent of our work will be on that itself. So, so don't worry about that. We'll be definitely having both these things.
uh, uh, right. Uh, my question is like, if uh, visualization comes bef after analysis, right? Or is it before the analysis? See, analysis is nothing but once you visualize, you, you will analyze that and then get into some conclusions. OK, so uh, then we'll split this course into visualization and then analysis, right? Uh, so the visualization portion, uh, till visualization portion, right? So how long do you think is the journey? So I don't think it's going to take uh, any much time because you don't need to bother about statistics. You don't need to see that's what. So so even in that analysis perspective, statistics comes into the existence. You need to learn statistics to to even uh, to understand the visualizations that you're going to get. Whatever the visualizations that you know is completely different. What exactly we're going to visualize. OK, so uh, I can say that it can take a month. Or, uh, you know, I think because uh, uh, they, they are not, you don't have a sp specific, uh, you know, visualizing things, only visualizing things you are having right now. That I can assure you. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah. 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 Yes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what exactly you guys are looking into basically? So uh, you don't want to go through completely, you just want to know only analysis part or how is it? No, I wanted to go to completely because I don't have a I don't have any knowledge, so I want to go deeply and I want to just do like you know. Mm. In the proper way, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> got it, got it. Yeah, because I don't know anything. I just want to learn, like, you know. Good, good. Yeah. Preeti? Yeah. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. yeah, that was Preeti, and this is Kausi. So, sorry, uh, sorry. Yeah. My, my, my thought was uh, I want to, you know, uh, do the visualization portion separately and then do the analysis because analysis, I think uh, I might have to put in more time. Uh, uh, so that, See, it my... doesn't take much time, trust me. So this is not something like a, uh, uh, you know, some, some other thing that it is having completely. This is a journey, OK? So whatever you are doing to do this analysis, data science is nothing but 80% of analysis itself. Okay, 20% is nothing but your prediction part comes. You need to analyze which, <clears throat> uh, which uh, you know, uh, which variables or which parts of your data is important, and then you just need to label that. So this visual till the visualization part is nothing but uh, you are doing 80% of your work. 20% of this is nothing much, uh, you know, it, it is not something that it is completely beyond science or something. Okay. So uh, if if I go through the one, this thing, um, I can able to show you, but I think uh, I'll show you tomorrow if things goes very well with both of you. Because I can explain. See, there is not a something called, uh, I am exactly understanding your point. Um, so let's do this till the visualization part and then do this part. See, whenever you say about visualization, you are not talking about the Tableau or ClickQ perspective. Okay. There is no specific job in data science that still you would be working only till the visualization parts in the Seaborn. There are no jobs like that. I can say that there are jobs in visualization with pers perspective with the tools that you are using like tableau and uh, like click view but if at all you are going through that perspective this tableau you need to learn part and parcel of it and the integration of tableau with big data environments as well once you do it there okay in in so people whenever you say that you are working in tableau you need to be in an expertise level saying that if your data uh, having some issue with it 
how you are going to transform and then show that into this thing. There would be a tons of complications that you choose that as a career perspective until unless you have a very good understanding of that tool that you are working on. Okay. So you need also whenever people try to explain Tableau, they will be simply taking a very good data set and then say that they will be transforming and then to be doing it would be cakewalk in training perspective. But whenever you go, whenever you attend for an interview, whenever you they ask questions with it, you will be not in a position to ask because you won't have a practical experience to be doing that. I can tell that because even the Tableau, you can work the uh, you know the uh, the basic version, free version is fourteen days trial itself. You can't have a uh, you know uh, you can't integrate that with something. You can't do that. Whenever you come into a data science perspective, I can able to guide you the kind of interview questions these people ask. Because apart from training, I also provide proxy services. Okay, I don't know whether you know these things or not, but um, so that means I I exactly know what kind of interviews or what interview questions that people are gonna ask. So what kind of topics that we need to deal with, and I'll be helping you with the different projects that are associated with data science, like an end to end. Okay, so so usually it would be in this manner. Are you are you looking at something that let's say this will go to two or three months? Are you not having that sufficient time, or you are looking out for an immediate job, or how is it? Uh, no, it's just a thought of uh, what to do next. Uh, so my uh, uh, I I don't know if they I have that much time to spare or. Uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't really have a good understanding of what I'm so doing. so let me tell you one thing uh, I let me be more, more blunt because uh, I'm very straightforward so are you uh, so are your job secured right at this position you don't have any issues with your job is it or do you have some issues with your job perspective no no I'm good with my position all I uh, wanted is to move myself okay then that won't be an issue right so so then I'm just feeling that give it a time now. So there is no hurry in doing any of these things. Learn completely. See, I, I say one thing. Learning just this extra part is not going to cost. It's not a blunder that you're going to make. Any Anything, learning anything, it's going to be a positive. You'll be looking things in a different perception. OK? That I can able to say. Yeah, so, sounds good. Let me uh, think about this. Let me uh, do some research on it and uh, see okay. how much. Okay. No issues. No issues. There, there right? Um, so uh, let me think through this. But uh, your uh, you know guidance is highly appreciated, and uh, I do understand uh, uh, the you know uh, the effort you're putting in and uh, uh, your experience on this training people and getting them employed. So I understand your perspective. Yeah. So because counseling is really even much more important whenever people coming from a different. Uh, you know, different perspective and then all these things. I'll I'll put what exactly are all these things that you are having and obviously the decision is yours. And um, so I, my duty is that making sure that these are all the things that is associated with it. And what are all the pros and cons as well. I think I have discussed everything with you guys. Yeah, sounds great. So will I be uh, uh, trained on SQL or no? Uh, see, this is... Uh, so you don't need any SQL perspective here, okay? Obviously, definitely SQL is much more important. But that uh, if that is needed, if that is needed, you need to have a database, and then you need to connect to a database, and then you need to work on that, and then do it. Or you can simply explain that this is data science stuff and all. So how are you going to do it? No, 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 I, I was See, thinking expl I'm... explaining SQL is not any tough manner for me, but the thing is that you need to have some data that is again pre installed and everything to do that, right? So, it... so usually, usually, this journey doesn't deal with the SQL part, okay? So, you are because handling... whatever the SQL, whatever the SQL can achieve, we can do that in Python. You, you have a data set, you have an Excel or a CSV, yes. and you're yes, 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 yes. Okay, got it. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, that gives me an understanding. Let me think through. Um, okay. I'm quite interested in the field, though. But uh, I, I want to see uh, my, um, you know, uh, time and efforts on this. Um, so your rough estimate is about three months, right? Ha. Huh, see, uh, usually I never go. I'm just getting that an optimistic that part. But I can say the two months. Two months is enough. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Oh. So okay. So so the consultancy that uh, you guys are associated with H two K Infosys, sir. Huh? So this the I came to this training through H two K. Yes. H two K Infosys. Yes. Okay. And Preeti. Hi, Abhi. Yeah, so you came to H2K Infosys uh, Consultants itself, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Got it. Uh, Abhi, I, I didn't get your, get you. So I, I, we are not employed through H2K. Here. No, no, I know, I know. I know how this <laughs> consultancy is basically. So you, uh, they might have co get contact with you that they might be providing data science training, right? And then you guys would have just enrolled for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, got it. Got it. So it sounds good. I appreciate your time. Uh, you know, giving us a knowledge of what uh, data science. Uh, let, uh, give us some time. Uh, so sure, sure, this. Sure. No issue. Uh, you, no issue. You'll be the trainer, right? If we choose to. I'll go. be the trainer. I'll be the trainer. Okay, got it. And uh, currently, you work in a data, a data science. Is that right? I'm I'm a senior data scientist at Asina Retail. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yep. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Yeah. Thank you. You guys too. Yep. yep. Thank bye you. bye. Thank you. Yeah.